he was very strange looking, dressed all in black, you know, this Swiss accent. And when we were looking at his work before we met him, we weren't really sure we wanted to meet him. You know? We were kind of, kind of disturbed about, is he really going to be here? You know? I like if they are disturbed. Yes, that's good. I, I hate if they, if they don't look at it or if they, I have people, they like my stuff or others, they hate it. He's a, he's a wonderful artist. I think that was a great move having him design, design the whole film. He was so strange. Most people were, kept him the creeps. They, they wanted his office way across the room than the other because he was so. He was like Dracula. He was only Peter Lorre or something. He was always dressed in black. And he had very soft voice, but there was always these horrible stories we heard that he had the skeleton from his fiance who had committed suicide, and people were gave him the creeps. I got along with him great. Dan and I and Ridley got along superbly. Everyone else sort of thought he was so weird that they didn't work with him too much, and as a result, that was good. It was great for Dan and I because we got so much input getting along with him so well. People would kind of shy away from him. They'd say he was obsessed in his work. He had bones and of all kinds and all over the place. The light hurts me. <laughs> if you have too much sun you like, then in the, to be in the shadow. And I like always to be in the shadow, <laughs> in the dark. I liked him a lot. Uh, he, he had a, a girlfriend called Mia, and they both dressed in black. He was very pale skinned as well. And he was sort of, um, he was sort of spooky in a way, but I, but I also kind of liked him, and there was a sweet side to him. He brought his mother over, you know, and his mother had hip replacements, and so he would take her out. I remember having dinner out one evening with him and his mother and, and Mia. And Giga was, I mean, we, did, we spent a lot of time together. It was the eggs were designed and obviously made, and they would be the way up they were with the aperture at the top with a hydraulic opening, which would open looking very threatening, with Jimmy Shields' great sounds on it. The face hugger, that was my first thing I did for Dan O'Banion when he sent me, I think, about $1,000 to, to do some paintings for Alien, and uh, he gave me explanation and um, drawings, and he said that he's jumping on a big egg. This egg is about that, so... And I thought that must be uh, quite a big monster, so I did an enormous face hugger, <laughs> like a... <laughs> and um, he was jumping, I thought he could jump when his tail is like, is curved like a spring uh, devil or whatever, the check in the box. Later on, he said, uh, I should do it smaller, so I think Something with human hands is always scary, very scary. So I, I had the finger, the long fingers, what is the most important part on the face hugger. And then it's a part, there's a, a little sexual, like, yeah. And uh, <clears throat> the tube for uh, that this beast has to, to, to put in the, in the mouth. And then late, I had his hands uh, in front, and then Dan O'Banion uh, drew them side sidewards. That was better. The chest burst. That was a very, very uh, heavy scene. I think the strongest thing in the whole film. The idea came from a painting from from Bacon, Francis Bacon, Ridley Scott. Uh, told me that this painting of 46, it's just a crucifixion and one of the members has just uh, uh, teeth and uh, red flesh and um, he liked to have the chest burst like that and I did some design, they look like chicken, something like like uh, chicken without feather and uh, but I was not happy with and then build up the thing and it looked like a, a small dinosaur and that was awful as that 
cut the legs and uh, so finally we only had the head and the tail and that was enough. I feel the strongest thing is always if it happened in your body or in someone's body. That's enormous. A, a worm, a worm in some, yeah, a worm in, in, a, in a living body. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's just under the skin and you see how it moves. Ooh, wow, wow. Yeah, I, I hate worms and snakes and things like that. I, it's awful. Ooh. There are also tu tubes from an old Rolls Royce, from, they are from vertebrates, from snakes and it was a mixture from everything together was built up together with plaster scene that doesn't shrink much and so it holds you can put things together normally it's not possible because the gigger is the author number one of the creation of Alien, I don't suggest anything about modify something, the, the, the detail of the, of the vein, of the muscle, of the face. No, no, no. In this case, I non, uh, the creator is Giga. His paint, I think, was too long, the face. Must reduce and too many, too many detail. We conserve a lot of detail, but I think and 20% of detail of the movement no need. You modify little. The mechanism of the mouth no, no was very complicated. It's three movements. One cable for open the mouth, second cable, the tongue coming out from the mouth, and another cable for open the small mouth of the tongue. This is a general mecha mechanical system for the tongue his drawing and uh, the tongue when open the mouth the tongue slide because it's impossible to clear the actor we use this, this, this mechanical system just for control this movement but after this mechanism was reduced was reduced very uh, when the actor is inside because this is exactly the position of the head of the actor 